Phil. Hello, everybody. That's kind of a retarded signal. They did a few things to make our characters dance and flail around and everything else, and we are finally catching up to the oxygen. If you notice, we've got an oxygen level on the side over there. We're going to repoint ourselves to the sun over there, just kind of go parallel with it. We've got to get, I think think we need to get at least 20,000 um, kilometers from where we have been and luckily in this world we uh, kind of started it right where uh, um, just before the oxygen came out and the map changes where we just have to get out of this main little center section of the map and we will be able to um, get some ice and the ice is super important that's what's gonna keep you filled up with oxygen and as soon as we get up to speed here we are gonna go ahead and create some oxygen containers and that'll allow us to take some of the ice refine that down in a special oxygen refinery and process oxygen for a character to consume and it's gonna be usable the oxygen containers are usable once you get down to 30 percent it'll just auto suck the oxygen out into your suit Gonna do a quick fast forward here. We're just going through changing the container and programmable block um, container names, so it's uh, doesn't conflict with our mining script that has an issue with the brackets. It just takes over any brackets, so we just added dashes to them. And we're gonna go ahead and make some of the oxygen containers. So when we actually get some oxygen, we'll have somewhere to put it, since our ship doesn't have. Uh, ventilators or anything like that we've got to get the containers so we can just suck it right into the suit back on course sounds like we got an oxygen bottle made so that looks like little ships out there too that's ah, probably just a super distance uh, let's see looks like we got some iron deposits smack into this. I think we're good. Takes a second for the ore detector to uh, process the location or we're at a good distance. Oh, there we go. Iron and silicone. Hmm. I think we went out far enough. Look at that. There's some ice. it though. We're gonna have to throw another reactor on this little guy too. So looks like the ice is in the center of that. So let's see. Good based off of the sun. Swing around over here. generator. We want to flip it over here so the collector is right there. Let's see. That's good enough. Dampeners. Oh, took my helmet off. That was bad. A little bit of decompression right there. Good way to make you feel alive. <laughs> okay, Put the dampeners onto this ship. Let's get ourselves aligned above this. This is probably a quick shot right here. So we're going to automate this right now. Programming block on that is working. What we want to do is remove this connector down here. And it be smart to take everything out first. Let's throw it in there. We're going to put this connector on the top of the ship. And hopefully that'll allow us to still hook up and um, 
The idea is we're going to put the oxygen refinery or whatever it's called down on the bottom there. The new starter ships, they put it right up here, but I think it's a, a better fit having the um, arc furnace in there instead. There's less pieces for the arc furnace. There's also an oxygen farm, but we're not going to worry about that piece quite yet. Let's go ahead and get our conveyor set up. favorite color for counters. Ooh, that is full. Stop that. Control. Okay. Get any ice out of it. Yes. That should be a little bit of oxygen there. Let's go back down here. Yank this piece off. Get that ice out. Perfecto. Let's go ahead and switch these into welders. Almost the same pieces, a uh, slight difference on the amount of motors and small steel tubes that are needed. So let's switch this over here. Dancing feet, dancing feet, dancing feet. It only changes your dancing feet when you move the, the mouse itself, not when you move your screen or character with the keyboard and keys. Still think it's funny. This welding unit up and going. Some of this out. Let's see. So I think there's a glitch where if your ship's moving and you jump out of the cockpit, you auto die or something. So. That's already aligned up. Perfect. And rotate it around. Yay! And what is needed in this? Computers, motors, tubes. Computers, construction. There's lots of large steel tubes. So the welding is done. speed this section up I'm just doing a little bit of welding so we're gonna put the connector on the top from the bottom location that we put our oxygen generator and tank on so we can connect our mining ship up with the ice so we can actually get into the ship so we're just gonna grab all the pieces that we need to get the oxygen generator and oxygen tank up and online and as soon as that's done we will be able to breathe again I think we're doing pretty good. We're down to about maybe 40% oxygen, so plenty of time to find a new asteroid and get O2 for you. It's always a good sign when you get the right amount of material in your welder. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get our mining vessel connected. Take control of it, back it up, and... Huh, <laughs> look at that, the little landing gear has got a piece of ore hooked onto it. Move that auto lock and let's see if we can get it connected. And back up just a little bit so we don't commit Harry Carry with ourselves. Okay. And let's see if we can get this ship aligned. Let's figure out what side I'm on. 
switch over to the side camera and it's just a little bit off with this ship so we'll scoot in closer get a little bit further up and there goes the auto lock or just the locking mechanism go ahead and move everything over ice isn't going to move over from the um the script that we have so we're gonna have to do that part manually and it looks like our storage space is pretty much filled up so maybe it didn't move over hmm. refinery is looking pretty good let's throw a little bit more uranium in there not like we have much of it now let's go ahead and point our little mining ship back in here let's get this navigated in just right flip some lights on ice is that blue little tint to it so go ahead and set the thrusters on and the drills going so the thrusters are just a little override on two of the what maybe six thrusters that are on the unit so it'll push forward automatically so we don't have to worry about it it just continues to go uh, let's get our oxygen situation taken care of go ahead and go into the oxygen tank and generator settings and set everything to auto refill yeah, and you can see that everything's set to 100%. Yeah. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and make some landing gears on the side so we can hook our ships to it. So our little lump and our stick on a bike can go on the sides of this ship. Uh, go ahead and put one landing gear or a set of landing gears on the oxygen tank itself. Why does that look weird? There. No. No. There. That's the one we want. Okay. Let's see. I think we've got enough in the welder to automatically pick it up, so. Just get these zipped on really quick. find naming conventions that we want to do for these. Our ship's at 85% full. It's time for us to grab an oxygen container. Well, that went from a quick 85 to 90%. Let's switch over to That went in quite a ways this time. We're getting the oxygen low at 25%. Piloting sideways is always a blast. And I don't think our programmable block will auto ice over. It looks like it's pretty full over here. It's not even moving stone. Go ahead and get our mining ship hooked up onto the landing gear that we just created. Well, it's showing the ship, but that looks really weird. Huh. Probably want to get behind it and take a peek at it. it looks like our oxygen level is at 19%. We better take care of that before we uh, can't breathe. <laughs> Pull one in. Looks like it auto pulled it in for us. And we're gonna make a button panel to control the uh, landing gears locking. Go and grab some interior plate, slap that in, and you see right there instead of having to unlock everything, uh, yeah, it'll just be easier that way. 
Let's do two more because I, I want to make a couple more sh helper ships for us. I don't know what we'll make yet, but um, yeah, I, I can never have enough of little landing gear things. So we're just gonna have to watch out for when we have things connected. I don't know if you have issues when you do connectors or merge blocks or both. So we'll just have to remember to remove the ships. Um, that way, you know, we don't break anything. Not enough resources for the button panel. Let's get this lined up. There we go. Looks like we got all four landing gears on. There's four buttons on the panel, so that should be good. Let's go and get some more materials. We need to figure out what we need. Switch to our welder. And interior plate. And I've got that on me. Perfect. I will just finish this up right now. We don't need the welding chip for this. Let's get this button panel done. And then we'll set it up to lock and unlock the landing gears on the sides. So we need to find out which ones are which. So the first landing gear is right, left. Left is going to be port. And that's the rear, so let's call that port. Aft. Aft port seems like it flows better, but it's all good. Second line. This one to be a star. So we'll do this one as port out. Switch lock. Star out. Switch lock. Port forward. Switch lock. Star. Switch lock. Let's see. appears to work. We need to change this piece to not out of work. Very nice. So I think we've got our main setup right there. That's what we were going for. Oh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a couple of these pieces out. So we put in a beacon right there, and if we want to do whole pressurization, ooh, something got me. We need to close that piece up. So let's take that out. So low on space. I think you get bit by the grinders. Not exactly so. Piece of ice is going to be our. Maybe it's a thruster that I run up against. Let's get in there. Press that. See, so the beacon's going to be right there. We want to do the new modules. Efficiency power two that we're gonna do. So the one right there and one right here. Switch for beacons. New modules. Productivity is gonna take more resources and energy. This gets our refinement levels higher and our power to keep the juice flowing. So let's see. Next 
you notice we're connecting those to the lower sections where they kind of match up there. Let's see. Go ahead and fast forward the welding portion. I'm just tacking on the the modules for the um, refinery and getting that beacon done really fast. Oh, you know, ooh, that hurt. Oh man, gotta be careful with that movement of the ships. I forgot to add the uh, connector on the bottom. Let's switch this beacon down to save some power. Yeah, let's get this connector on. So I want it lengthwise with the ship. Looking through too quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put a collector on the front of it. Some of the stray pieces will probably kind of float around and anything that, you know, from the mining. So anything that doesn't get caught by the top one might get caught by this bottom one, depending on the angle. And with the merge block on the bottom, um, we'll be able to put some modular cargo containers on it. Yeah, you should be able to turn this system in, or the ship into a, a better um, little hauler system until we get something better and bigger going that we want. We're missing something on this, so let's take a quick peek. Looks like displays. Need four. And let's see, after this, I think we're going to go ahead and do another nuclear reactor. So when we were flying over here, there wasn't too much of the, um, just using too much power, trying to use the thrusters and everything else. I think it's the, a mixture of the arc furnace and refinery being set up, so let's go ahead and come up here. We need to get some reactor components in our system. And there we go. In. Components, where are they? 100 reactor components. Looks like we got enough for just about everything else. Should stop before we get out. Let's go ahead and get our lump welding ship hooked up onto the landing gears. Got to make sure the dampeners are off, otherwise when we fly, the ship will try to stop us. Uh, so, I think I bumped it. Let's get that locked pretty quick. I don't remember if I turned the dampeners off on this one. Um, no. Doesn't look like we did. Okay. I think we did pretty good right there. Um, got the, god that looks so funny, the waving. We've got our oxygen set up, we've got hookups for our ships, we got the extra um, little reactor piece up there, we got the new efi efficiency and power saving modules set up there, and last piece is making sure we got the power spread out, so let's move at least five in there. And I think we will call this an episode. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Got to see a couple of the new Ur features. And hopefully next episode we'll be able to take this helmet off. Or something around those ends. And I will see you guys next time. Do, 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 do.